Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of the podcast. I'm one of your co-hosts, Poetic Justice, and this is Entangled Thoughts where there ain't no hoes, but we do think out loud. On my left, who you be? I'm Zoe. And on my right, who you be? Boy Cedric, aka Seti Love. Alright. I'm sorry, Toby. Jaden Sorry Toby. This is the podcast. Right. Jaden, this is your first time on the podcast. Now you gotta get the Hot spot treatment. How you feel, big bro? I mean, you know they say the the superstar always shows up late. No, I work. They, yeah. <laughs> so now I'm here, and now all the eyes are gonna be like, uh, I'm the cute. I'm the cute one. Besides Zoe, Zoe, Zoe was the last Zoe's one. a female uh, promoter. I'm the star. Okay. Zoe was the last one to arrive at the house. So I mean, we're talking about you. Zoe got pulled over twice in ten minutes, bro. Zoe ain't have a choice. <laughs> I'm just saying, man. Zoe ain't have a choice. Or you scoot up. You kind of right on that one. You can't see me if I scoot up. That's why I scooted back. All right, this is what we're gonna do. This is really ghetto. This is, oh damn. damn. All right, yeah, you know. Don't right. push me because I'm close to the edge. Shut, Shut your <laughs> bitch ass up. Shut your bitch ass up. But this is uh, it's pretty good. The whole cast is finally here, guys. We got the black guy number one. <laughs> Hey man, then y'all, I promise y'all, I'm gonna be more pixelated and stuff that I'm not gonna be this shadow forever. He's gonna be an Android quality. <laughs> <laughs> just him. You got chocolate, you got chocolate mocha. You got diet black. Wait, wait, wait. 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 Actually, <laughs> actually, actually, I'm more like coffee with cream, all right? I, I just wanna know who's diet. Smooth and sweet. Yeah, I'm like, why am I diet? I feel like I'm very diabetic. <laughs> <laughs> but that's what I think. I, I don't think I'm dying. And then we got milk. Love that for me. Um, so yeah, don't don't judge me on my how I'm holding this. We can't. I can't put it in the uh, when it goes up on the places. You look like you've done that before, Miles. I've had some experience back in college. You just spit all over me. Like you need to work on some of that experience. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, no. I mean, spitters are male. Male. Collect your I got to head out. Right. <laughs> oh my God. Who has my phone? We got topics. Oh, first of all, Zoe, how the fuck did you get pulled over? Not once, but twice. In time, you skip the you just what? My, my car is illegal. How? They don't, so they don't make my car anymore because people turn them into drag racers. So oh. I'm already suspicious. And then I was going 65 and 45, and apparently people don't like that. So. What do you mean 65 and a 45 is the right speed to go? Look, apparently to the police it is not. But. Like my hand like this a lot of the time. So, well, no, then there I we go. It makes sense. Lean on my car with his hand out. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. That's exactly how it was. And um, so, so I don't think the homosexual kind likes gay cop, bad cop. <laughs> gay cop, bad cop. Gay cop, bad cop. That's it. Is that the title? <laughs> 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 that, damn, it's, we barely, what, four minutes in and we already got our first title. You're welcome. All right, guys, let's get into it. But wait, but which, which cop is going to make you break? The gay cop or the bad cop? I just got to know But that. if the gay cop is like Kawan, then. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> if the bad cop's like, hey, man, I'm going to bust your fucking knee pipe. Come, come, come over here. Bro, oh, are, are, you, are you taking a batter of pipe? That's the only question you really have then, for yourself. I mean. I don't even. I think we should change the subject. All right. I got y'all. <laughs> okay. And. So. Recently, I was in a conversation with somebody about toxicity, and it made me think about what the word means. To be more specific, being a toxic boyfriend or girlfriend. Okay, thank you. I was going to say, um, I, <laughs> should I step out? <laughs> but as a man, I feel like I have a couple of toxic tendencies. She can validate. 
But how do y'all how do y'all feel about being toxic in relationships? It depends on what kind of toxic it is. Yeah, no. Because there are certain things that people consider toxic that are genuinely just caring for the person that society and mainstream media has delegated as toxic. Yeah, no, for sure. Like, I mean, like, there's like I feel like there's like a healthy toxic and there's like a like a a negative toxic. Like, if you staying up till 7 in the morning because you know that I get up at 7 in the morning and you waiting on that text message for me and then you going off, da 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 that's a little unnecessary. I think you belong in a psych ward because you shouldn't be timing me like that. For now. But if you, like, set an alarm around the general time that I wake up just to make sure that I woke up, just to make sure I slept okay, that's a different thing. Okay. Is that just is, is that what she did to you? Uh, that, that, so I'm pretty sure that is what she did to me. Because one thing one thing that I can say and nobody ever questions me on it. I just say, Hey, I'm a Sag. I do what I do. What is a Sag? A Sagittarius. Sagittarius. Oh, 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 oh. oh. <laughs> For Come some on, reason. Come on. <laughs> Scorpio, and I'm supposed to be like one of the most toxic. I don't understand. I'm just, I'm y'all just fucking crazy. I don't, I'm sorry though. I, y'all are, uh, y'all are my toxic. toxic. I'm not, I'm the most heartfelt, simp. Okay, if I'm not in a relationship, I will admit I'm my, toxic. I have well. known you for a very, very decent amount of time. Are, are we sure that that is truthful? Okay, let, let me, let me speak to you. Okay. Actually, no, let's pause for a minute. Hold on, wait. So, I I, I want my question answered about earlier, okay? Patreon! Patreon! <laughs> okay. But still, no, I want my question er- answered from earlier. Um, so, Miles. Patreon! Simp. Alright. Patreon! That means wait. <laughs> but still, no. We will wait till the Patreon and answer it! I was just about to say that song. And I just can't help myself. (laughs) What are you doing? Because Miles said, come closer. And we started singing the Neo song, come closer. And I I, I just can't help myself. Uh, Wait. (laughs) I was trying to read the words. I'm not going to read it. All right. But let's be honest. You're. All three of these people, these guys, know me fairly well. And I will admit, when I'm not in a relationship, officially, I'm probably one of the most toxic people you would ever fucking meet in your Facts. goddamn life. Facts. Like, I I think the worst thing I've ever done, I... <laughs> so much stuff going through my head. <laughs> I dated this fat bitch. Why she gotta be a fat bitch? <laughs> <'Cause you're> right. <laughs> Hey, hey, listen, it doesn't have anything to do with the story. Yeah. A lot of bitches are fat. Some of them happen to be white. How? I mean, you mean, right? Right? <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's, let's go. Let's go. And Shorty was kind of obsessed with the boy. I don't know why. This is during my prime, back when I used to look a little thick. And, like, the fact that you was able to right. say for straight face, you thick. was thick. With a straight face. Thick, yeah, yeah, yeah. Never... Back in my prime, I was a little thick. So we, you've been skinning <laughs> bones forever. Facts. Are, are, are we? Are, are, is is this the testimony that y'all are keeping with? <laughs> is this the testimony? Y'all ain't gonna play me, goddamn it. <laughs> are you winning, son? That's what we're say now. <laughs> but no, like, so we ended up. I t- ended up taking her to movies to the first day, which, by the way. Terrible choice. Don't ever go to the movies for a first date. That is a terrible decision. It depends. It depends. Are you getting sloppy or are you just like going? First out? date? Nah, I can't. I can't fuck on the first date anymore. There's nothing wrong with that. Oh, she called you out. Wait a minute. I, I know you've seen that facial expression. Damn. She said, "Wait a minute." Hey, but that Photoshop is something else. 
even both shots. <laughs> God, we, play me. we will go to the gym, all four of us. I can show you. This ain't no game. You see, no. me in the gym, we need to get along more. So we just come to my gym. I will smoke you. I promise. Like if you want to get in shape, I got you. I promise. What do you mean you'll smoke me? Do you want to get in shape fast? Oh, yeah. I will smoke you. Come to the gym, and I will help you. Okay, cool. So, so we're hitting the gym after this podcast. I am. I'm drinking. <laughs> so, my heels ain't going nowhere but to bed. Oh, that's tough, no. So, um. <laughs> so, yeah, like I said. I'm not going to say it. We went to go see Happy Death Day. I've never seen mm. that. Okay, that's a decent movie. I've never seen and, that. And, like, I'm a gentleman. I paid for the ticket. Um, and I was like, I paid. Oh, can I stop this in here? What's just, up? just a random ass fun fact. Miles, every time he goes to the movies, he's always paid for his tickets. And I've told him, you can get your tickets for free. If you just asked me, he would come while I was at work. Well, what was up with that? Bro, I would come at inappropriate times because, like, you know, you I used to go to movies twice a day, and not twice a week, twice a week. Oh, I was about to say twice a day. Where was I? I I like movies. I worked six (laughs) days a week. You would see me at work. Like every time I try to hit you up or something, like, ah, I I got you next week. Oh, that's right. That's right. That's right. Your face ain't in the camera. I just wanted to make sure. Yeah, I have a tendency of falling to my right because I forget that I got to fall to my left. Next, next time we gotta just we gotta sketch it out better. But like yeah, so or put the small one in the middle so that it's okay. Keep going. You have three guys. <laughs> okay, am I the only one that doesn't think inappropriately? Like what? She's a she's a child. She's yeah, you're a child. No, I know what y'all are talking about, but that's not the first thing that comes to mind. I'm thinking business. Y'all are thinking porn. Nobody said porn. Cause all we said was three like, black guys. Like, <laughs> I, I know that's you why, saw the look that said the That's why baby. you're not sitting in the middle. That's <laughs> why I didn't want her sitting. And in the that's middle why right. happy off face. And it doesn't help. It doesn't so help. Y'all you two with that. are wearing white, so it looks just like that one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you we're never wearing about. white again. White is no longer allowed. We will only wear. We're not wearing white. about. So. Can I finish my story? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> kind of cuts you off a little bit. So we, we go inside the movie theater, and, like, we begin to start to watch the movie. And Shorty's just, like, leaning on, like, hey. And I'm like, what? They're like, let me suck your dick. And I was like, not it? Are you crazy? We are in the very front of the theater. Now I'd understand if we were in the back. Or even if the, nobody was in the theater. But, Shorty, you're bold. I don't got time for this. I paid thirteen sixty five for these tickets. So you better sit your black ass down and watch the goddamn movie. Hey, bro, you don't waste any money. That's just more entertainment for you. What are you talking about? I thought she was white. She is white. But you... I refer to, like... I, it's like Kiki. I refer to Kiki as black. Like, it's like, it's like, anyway. So I'm like... Damn. And, like, I didn't want to give... The, I, was, I had no plan of having sex. Because, like, that's trashy. And I'm like, oh, I, especially with her because, well, no. She, yeah, that's fair. Pause. What is trashy about it? I don't, I don't think, if I, if I go to the movies, I'm going to watch the movie. I don't want it. I get that, but you said you didn't plan on having sex because that is trashy. What is trashy about it? Let's, let's clarify. You didn't even care about the, the, the movie in the first place. You said that it wasn't that good of a movie. Well, I, I found that out after watching the movie. Okay, Can we answer so, my question? Well, okay, I'm sorry. What is your question repeated? I done asked that four times. What is trashy about it? Because you said... I'm going to the movies to watch a specific movie, and I, I don't think... It's because it's the first day. If it's the first day, it's too easy, I guess. It would be like... Well, not even that, but like... It's, it's, come, it's come to my consensus that all the girls that I've had sex with on the first date, that relationship usually doesn't pan out for whatever reason. And it burns out within a month or two months. I don't know. I mean, there's been a couple times. So. I, I, 
like it. I don't see anything wrong with sleeping with somebody on the first date. Like, if you're that comfortable with that person, if you're feeling them that hard, then I don't see there's nothing wrong with that. No, don't don't get me wrong. There's nothing wrong with having sex on the first date, but I just wouldn't condone it inside a movie theater. No, I, I see what Miles is saying. Because, yeah. it, I mean, as you were saying, though, if you're feeling somebody that hard, but by the first date, how can you really tell? Because everybody, by, uh, before the first date, everybody swear up and down that they loyal, but then everybody end up being cheated on. So something and, obviously and that's very true. Know. Like words, somebody getting in a bag. That's very true. <laughs> like words can always just be words, and you really never know a person until you get with them. You know what I mean? Like until you spend invest time in them and really get to know them. Yeah. But you know, everybody has that little sense inside of them. Like whenever me and Miles became friends, it was automatically like, okay, I can see that he's a dope person. You know what I mean? Like you just but you can feel that awesome about people. Mm. But. On certain dates, like, I, I guarantee you, everyone has been on at least one day. What is up with you? <laughs> Wait, we're, all you laughing, were... we're all laughing about how you say when I first met Miles, he seemed like a dope person. That is not Shut what up. I thought Shut when up. I first Shut met up. Miles. No, no, we are not <laughs> talking about that. We are not <laughs> talking about that. Shut up. <laughs> Out of here. Close your mouth. <laughs> he knows. He knows. <laughs> Am I the only one with a good experience? Like, I don't... Me and Miles Everyone come is so negative, way. and I'm sitting here like, oh, I enjoyed my experience. <laughs> okay. We're not talking about that. Shut your black ass up. Yeah, I got it. That whole year is just funny. It's fun. So, what's the? How have y'all been toxic in relationship? What's the most toxic thing that you? Oh, I haven't. Fa- I haven't finished my. My bad. My bad. My bad. Um, but like, yeah. So like. That whole hour and 30 minutes of the movie, she was trying to suck my dick. I was not having it. And to the point, I was like, all right, look, if you want to go fuck, we can, we can go bang one out real quick. And she was like, no, I kind of want to watch the movie. I said, bitch, if you sucking dick, you're not going to be watching the movie. That's very true. You are the movie and you ruined it. <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, whatever. I ended up, I ended up like taking her back to the car. You know, she had some BS excuse about how she had to go home, and I had to take, I had to drop her off at home. And she was like, "Um, yeah, so you're gonna call me back, right?" And I'm like, "Yeah, sure, <laughs> baby girl. I got your number locked in my phone, saved as my favorite. Like, I'll be, I'll be, I'll text you when I get home. Never you in never my got home. <laughs> never in my fucking life have I ever pulled off so fucking quick. I know, lady." And I think I threw up a little bit in my mouth. I'm like, look. Uh-uh. That's sad. Yeah. That's a little sad. That's sad. Okay. Okay. Mine goes back to about maybe a year and a half ago. Okay. It was this girl that was, uh, she she went to spring. Oh, that's an and, upset. Uh, <laughs> she went to spring. All right. Let me mm. find out it's the one that's uh, TikTok famous that we talked about on the first episode. <gasps> nah, it's not her. It's oh. not her. Oh yeah, she's TikTok famous. I know. <laughs> but I know who we're talking about. Um, that one. I know that one. <laughs> Anyways, go ahead. Going to work every day and all that. You know, I worked at the movie theater. It's right down the street from Spring. So I would go over on my break and I would see her and all that. Until we kissed for the very wait, first time. Wait, wait, something's wrong with this story, nigga. You're 22. Mm-hmm. She's in high school. Nigga, I said a year and a half ago. I didn't say that she was in spring. No, she was in spring. We both seniors at the time. Damn, that was no. a year and a half ago? <laughs> you don't. <laughs> nigga, we graduated <laughs> almost four years ago. Bro, I have not been keeping track with the date, man. We graduated four years ago. Yeah, it's just 2020 part two, bro. Look, oh. we were seniors. There we go. Call him R. Kelly. <laughs> we were seniors. How, how long He's ago not- was that? 20, the 2017 year. Okay. Okay. <laughs> we were okay. seniors Clarif- that year. Clarification. <laughs> oh. Damn, where the fuck was I at in the store? Oh, yeah, until we kissed for the first time and she tasted like bad milk. <laughs> and How do you I, taste like bad milk? That's, I, don't, I, that's, that's, I don't know. I, I don't know. You know what that made me think of? You remember, I don't know if it was our junior year or our senior year, but that girl that went viral. At the KD for uh, on the tennis court. Yeah, uh, yeah, I feel you. Oh, I know that story. Y'all told me that, or you told me that. Oh no, story. wait, what story? I'm I'm lost now. Okay, to catch everybody up, there was a, there was this girl at our school. <laughs> 
I think we were either, we were either juniors or we were either seniors. We were and, sophomores. No, 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 no. We were juniors. We were juniors. We were juniors. And then, like at eleven thirteen in the morning, this picture starts going fucking viral around the school, and then everybody's running frantic. I think they they even put everybody on lockdown, huh? Yeah. So, so this girl was over by the tennis court of where our school was, with what's a nice way to say it. Um, with sauce dripping down her face, and yeah. the picture went so viral. Her dad was in the at the school in less than thirty minutes, hunting down the boy who desecrated her daughter. His daughter. His daughter. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, thank you for that correction. Mm-hmm. Um, and she, it was so bad. Allegedly, I don't know if it's true, but she had to move entire states because every school that she went to knew about hers with the sauce all over her face, you know? The sauce is forever. <laughs> never get lost. You never get lost in the sauce, bro. Oh my God. That, that's yeah. another title. The sauce is forever. Never that was her face. Sauce. You know, we never saw her again. She's like the avatar. She disappeared. Yeah, so yeah. there I was, yeah. barbecue yeah, sauce. Yeah. When yeah. the world needed her most, she vanished. I hate you. I hate you so much for that. Where is she today? Oh, uh, that's a good question. But like we said, she moved states. So, who fucking knows? She probably Canada. Cause... Okay, but back to your story. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. So, she tastes like bad milk. So, oh, we were also seeing a movie at this time. Because it was, you know, it was on my break. So, I just, I was like, fuck it. You know, I was a crew leader there. I just went in. I watched movies whenever I wanted to. As you uh, should have. Uh, but by the end of our movie, and with a good amount of faking, you know, had to I can you know after staring for a while, force myself to cry, I suddenly have to go home and suddenly pack up to move to Connecticut. Ooh, what Connecticut? Oh so my god! Connecticut. And that was my lie. I, I'm suddenly moving. My dad just got a new job. I don't know my dad. <sighs> <laughs> I don't live nowhere near Not in Black History Month. <laughs> uh, so yeah, you know we're. Just, yeah, dude, I told her that she That's... went to Spring. I went to Decaney. As long as she didn't randomly come to movie theaters, I didn't have a problem. She never did. To this day, she thinks I live in Connecticut. It's the most toxic thing I've ever done. Oh Lord, Teddy Love. What about you? Okay, I know I'm not in it at all, at all, but one of my girlfriends, she, one time she was extremely drunk, and then she kissed me, and she, her breath smelled like, the, like cheese that has gotten really bad. Like, oh, yeah, man. like, it was almost as close so as, yeah, it was so <laughs> gross, I was like, Ugh. yeah, sorry. No you you heard the bad milk without the bad yeah, cheese. Yeah, I, was like, oh, I, get, I got you. I got you. And that was her breath every time, though. I was like, ooh. Oh. Yeah. She got bad kids out. I don't know. I feel like I'm always getting the toxicity thrown at me. I don't think I've really done anything. I had something super, toxic super happen toxic to me, and I responded real in a crazy way. In but a toxic way? No, like. Uh, Damn, we, you are the only toxic people on this podcast. That's I mean, I chased them with a knife. If that's considered. Yeah, that's but if you knew the story behind it, that's reasonable compared to what he did. I think toxicity is more up here than it is physical because... 100%. Because I think... Okay, the very first time I ever heard of like a toxic relationship was probably like two, three years ago. And I don't know about y'all, but like how words formulate to me is like they either formulate in shapes or with feelings. Right. Uh, I'm so, the same way. So the first time I heard of a toxic relationship, I thought of the word toxic. So what does toxic mean? And the very first thing I thought was like, oh, bad air quality, pollution, something that something that desecrates the beauty of what right. of what was. So thinking about that, relating that to a, what a toxic relationship would be, I think it's something that starts off good, but somewhere along the line that like your insecurities, your flaws, and everything just gets pushed through. And it, and it ruins the integrity of the relationship. I say... Oh, my bad. Go ahead. Have y'all watched that new movie on Netflix called Malcolm and Mar- Marie? Yes. No, I, I want to watch it now. Oh. Uh, if you haven't seen it, guys, I would urge you to go check it out. It is a masterpiece. 
It is. It's it's good. Oh, we went to the last night. We did. It's good. And uh, in the in the movie, they accurately paint a toxic relationship because the entire movie two hours they were just arguing back and forth back and forth back and forth and there were so many times where it could have just been so simple like they could have just let their pride down just be like hey listen i apologize i should have done a b and c you're right uh i really care about what's happening with us right now but like they were both too conceited to just let it go okay i was about to say like i don't consider arguing to be a toxic thing because regardless of what happens it doesn't matter how happy you are how happy you are together people argue like it's human nature you know what i mean but whenever you said more so like they put their they wouldn't put their pride aside to let somebody be hurt or be heard that's what i believe that toxicity is i believe it's more so like a controlling aspect like, if you feel like you have to get the last word, if you feel like you have to be right, if you feel like you are what <coughs> is important, if you cannot think of anyone else's emotions but your own, then that's what toxicity is. Facts. You're welcome. Thanks for, you know, not She got in her that. bag, bro. Because she I... Dropped ready for it. She dropped for No, because ready. the last toxic relationship I was in, I told him I was going to take a nap and... I slept on my couch. I took a nap on my couch. You ever get so comfortable, you're just like, you know what? I think I, I think I need to sleep. You don't get up. So I took a nap on my couch. Told him, hey, I will text you when I get up. I'm finna take a nap. And um, he snuck into the bushes in front of my house because I have a big bay window with bushes in front of it. He yeah. snuck into those bushes and was sitting there pounding hard as shit on my window. Broke my window. And then my parents came home and he hid in those bushes bleeding because he had broke my window and he was just chilling and then he told me about it like it was normal he was like well i knocked on your window and you didn't respond well bitch i was asleep what am i in a different room what am i what am i respond to and he made it seem like it was my fault and that's why like i feel so passionately about toxic people in relationships because i don't i don't like that shit Okay, so hear me out, alright? So I'm not sure if this really does, like, is if this is me being toxic or if it was her being toxic. We'll tell you. Alright? So, basically, there's this girl I was talking to, like, sometime around this time last year. And, um, you know, like, it was one of those, like, moments where it's like, hey, if something's wrong, you know, let me know. Like, I'm, I'm gonna be here for you, I'm gonna listen to you. And so she labeled me as toxic because basically she sat there, held in, like, this whole feeling the entire day. Instead of just telling me, like, what was up and helping me, you know, like, letting me help her fix it, you know. She just kind of sat there and held it in. And then she goes off on me, right? But then she blames it on me because I'm still steady trying to fix it while she's yelling at me the entire time telling me about how shit I am and how trash I am. Basically, everything that happened in that relationship was just a lie, you know. And so it was crazy to me that I was labeled as toxic for wanting to fix the relationship instead of, you know, just yelling back at her or making a bigger scene. I have a You're the bigger man. I have a question for Zoe. Oh, shit. Okay. <laughs> well, well, Zoe and Laura. This is like a female question. That's what we're here for. So when a guy breaks up with y'all, mm-hmm. why the fuck do y'all immediately go, oh, he broke up with me? Time to break his shit. Like, okay. why is that the escalation? Okay. Like, it depends on the breakup because I have only messed up one person's stuff ever, and I poured bleach all over his astral world hoodie. I have never done anything like that. That is the only thing that I have ever done. You're you're terrible. But what did he do to you? <laughs> so, you see, because there's always two <laughs> sides to a story. So, um. He was very, very controlling. He was one of those like, oh, you can't wear that because you have a curve in your body. You can't wear that. Oh, you can't post that picture because you look good in it. And I wouldn't like that. So, oh, you can't, you, you have to delete all their comments. Oh, Mine's know. the only comments that can be on there. That's very, much. very controlling. And so, you know how, like, I don't know if y'all have lost a family member or have grieved over something very strongly, but you tend to act out a little bit whenever yeah. you grieve. Once, like, before the realization hits, you go and you do some shit that you either regret or just some wild shit because you want to get feel something different. So my grandmother passed away, and my grandmother was, like, my entire world, my very best friend. And the next day, I had went to my cousin's house, and I went and I stayed with my cousin for, like, two, three weeks because I just did not, I couldn't be in my household, if that makes sense. Mm-hmm. That makes sense. Um, so I told him, I was like, hey, I'm going to be out of town for, like, 
two or three weeks because I'm going to be with family. I have the funeral, all of this stuff. Um, why? Bitch. Mm. I'm at a funeral mm. with my family. I don't know how that doesn't make sense to you. Um, and then whenever I told him that, like, hey, I'm about to go into the service. Like, I'm not bringing my phone with me, anything like that. He broke up with me because I wasn't answering him fast enough. So he broke up with me because he was so upset that I was with my family for so long and not with him. And I wasn't responding to him during my grandmother's funeral. The only chance that I would get to say goodbye to my grandmother that he couldn't be with me anymore. And then wanted to go and post all of this stuff about how I'm fake, about how I'm this, I'm that. About like trying to put shit on my name and nobody took his side. So then he tried to come crawling back. And I told him no. And then he was like, oh, well, I want all my shit back. You can have some bleach with it. Yeah, yeah. fuck. I would, have, then, I would have done the same thing. But I have never done anything That's like the that. only thing that I have ever done. But other than that, whenever someone breaks up with me, it's just it, it means that it was not meant to be. And I just kind of take it as it is. I'm just like, you know what? God has a plan for me. You got it. I, I hope that you find everything I couldn't give you. And I wish you the best. That's it. And that's one thing I find crazy. As a fellow, as a fellow, as a fellow man. Oh, you, bro, we are on the same wavelength, bro. I, we are on the same wavelength. I don't understand how niggas can be so crazy. Like, if you they can't handle dating a bad bitch, then you don't need to be with a bad bitch. If you are that insecure oh, yeah, no, no. over a picture or an outfit, then you need to get on somewhere. Because I'm going to do what I want regardless. You yeah, know, last thing I'm going to do in a relationship you is take away a female's freedom, I would, dude. Oh, yeah. One thing, <laughs> one thing you don't do is take away, whether it's a guy or a girl, don't take away the freedom, all right? You let them do, take away their Let freedom. them do what they're going to do because they're their own person, all right? And if they fuck up, that's on them. Don't try to hold them back because you're insecure about some stupid shit. Exactly. I want y'all to keep, I want y'all to keep this topic in mind because this has to pertain to one of my Patreon topics. Gotcha. Okay. okay. All right. Okay. But just keep, uh, keep a pin in it. Keep the energy. here. There we go. This works a whole lot better. I sit back and I look like I'm about this big. <laughs> yeah, you see. All right. I look like a peanut in the corner. She is. I do too. All right. You know what? For me. So. All right. Yeah, that did not help me feel. Let's any let's. Larger than what I am. Let's you go to the next. We're gonna go to the next scene. Gosh. Whew. And we are. Oh my back. gosh! I'm actually like. I'm sorry. I can be seen comfortably. Wow. This is. This is so much better. We got it though. (laughs) This is good. We gonna have to get like one of them little stand-up lamps and put it directly next to him. That's his new spot. Okay. So I got I got a neck. This one's kind of personal for me. Okay. I want everybody's honest opinion for this one. Okay. Okay. So a couple about a month or so ago, it was uh, disclosed Michael B. Jordan, the king himself, is fully producing and directing. A live action Static Shock movie. Now, first of all, can we just? For, I don't know if you know who Static Shock is. I do. Okay, great. Thank you. Yeah, we about that one. Yeah. <laughs> why, are you, why, are you, pause, why are you gonna ask the only person that's white and the only person that's like actually in the podcast is female? I'm so because like, like I, I've been talking to a lot of people. And a lot of people are like who the fuck is Static Shock? And I was like, all right, so your childhood sucked. Um, like, <laughs> <laughs> damn. All right. But I'm like, okay, but wait, pause. Because you're like, oh, your childhood sucked. Why did you look directly at me? No, I don't know if you know, but do you know? Wh- why me? Like, because I, I, I know Jaden. I'm the one that asked him that, too. <laughs> Damn. I, I know Jaden seen it. I'm a little offended by that one. <laughs> do you not know who I am? Hello. So, Static Shock. He's an amazing superhero. He's a black superhero. And it's probably possibly one of my favorite DC characters. Michael B. Jordan is officially producing and directing a movie with a live action version for him. Now, as y'all saw earlier, while we were BSing through the podcast, I have a decent shape. And let's 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 be honest. I don't think you showed it. I don't think you showed the camera. I, I didn't. I, I'll post. I'll post it later, maybe. Uh, but like, might be he good. just want he just want people to see his body. Yeah. That's yeah. All see, it. I told you he was capping earlier when he said he didn't look good. See, but if I did that, oh, um, Zoe, you can't do that. Uh, no. Look. I didn't, I've never said that. I, I didn't say you said it. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Okay. 
<laughs> so, but I want to audition for the lot for the role of Virgil Hawkins because I already look like a child. Act like one too, but we're not gonna talk about that, are we? And like, I think I would be a good uh, a good uh, lead actor. For I could definitely see that. Like being completely one hundred percent honest, I can definitely see that. You know me. I'm gonna critique the hell out of you. <laughs> it's static shot. So if I fuck it up, <laughs> you, you, you're, you just you're gotta fuck die. it up. If you fuck it up, like, come on. But if you don't, because you gotta think. Black Lightning came out. Okay. Black Lightning. Black Lightning. It's a great show. Black Lightning could have could have done better. Yeah. Black Lightning could have been a lot good. better. Yeah. Yeah. They're not one of those top shows up there. Same. It's not even with just Black Lightning. Superhero shows get fucked up. Look at Marvel's Runaways. Facts. I've yeah. never seen the Runaways, but like I do believe Marvel. Marvel had a little sliver of a silver lining with TV shows. Like, they're doing amazing with Wonder Vision right now. Right. They, 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 Wonder Vision slaps. But but like earlier, like when they were like still in Phase Two, I think those Marvel Netflix TV shows slap. Agents of Shield. Except for Vision. Jessica Jones. Jessica yeah, Jones was ass. Yeah. That was terrible. That you was see? Why? Okay. <laughs> now I'm thinking about it. Why was it only the Netflix ones that was good? Because like like I, all the Netflix. ones I Netflix just named. Netflix ain't all support. They, they they have enough. Netflix has enough about budget about to like 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 listen. This is how far the meeting went with Mark. Listen, we have an idea. We're gonna bring four heroes together. We're gonna make separate series for them. We're gonna bring them all together. Listen, I know. Well, this might be a little bit much to ask Netflix, but uh, sixteen mil. Why is he out of breath when he's talking? Right, I, I don't know. <laughs> a, a That's lot, the only thing I could pay attention to. You sounded out of breath. Because a lot of them are fat. They, they. Let's be honest. They, they look back like to the fat. They, back to the fat people. They, they look like the dude who made Game of Thrones. Like, let's be honest. Hey, I'm not hey, gonna hey, say hey. anything at all. Hey. <laughs> Tell me I'm wrong. There, there's a whole army of I people right you. now that that would really come up to it for the knife to your yeah, throat. Really like, if you say you. shit about yeah, Game yeah, of Thrones. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I didn't say anything about Game of Thrones. I just said that all, all, most directors and stuff look like that type of guy. And you know what guy I'm talking about. I know exactly what guy you're talking about. Seriously. You're not talking about just Game of Thrones. You're talking about the nigga that made Lord of the Rings. Oh, the nigga like, basically nigga. all yeah. of them. <laughs> Yeah, we, we know exactly what you're talking about. So, uh, I'm dedicated. I think oh. I. We're not talking about that. No. Sorry. Patreon? Patreon. Patreon. <laughs> Shit. Because that's a whole lot, a whole lot. Yeah, of. A whole lot. So, I, I decided to dedicate this entire year of not only uh, stepping up my fitness game. I felt that. But um, actually, like, like, going, putting myself out there in my different forms of media is like, hey. This is not this is not a game. I'm seriously going out for this. I've been tagging Michael B. Jordan in every post I make about Static Shock. Yeah. And just like I got I got the little uh braids right now, but when my when I get this retwist done, dreads are gonna look immaculate. I feel you. I just I just have a question. Are you prepared for the perfect person to walk in and play this role? I'm totally prepared pre- pre- uh, prepared for the perfect person to write to Prepper Red. You know what the fuck I'm trying to say. <laughs> the perfect person. I don't think you can really be prepared for that. I don't. I feel but, like you can say that you will be prepared for it, and it's going to be like, yeah. you know what? I went out and tried. I feel like you can say that, but I don't think you'll have that same emotion when you're there. As long as I know I'm getting 120%. And, I mean, different. regardless, you're going to be bummed. Like, you know what I mean? Like, that's just a given. It, yeah. Like, if you see somebody and you're like, that's it, that game over, like, you're going to be bummed. But I don't really think you can prepare for that. I'm, I'm gonna support you throughout the whole way of going through it, but just know if, if Corbin Blue was to walk into the audition room, <laughs> that that fits the look right there. That static shot. Corbin, Corbin Blue it looks too old now. Uh, you you right you right. What, he, what, what do the he might he might be able to play Ebon. Yeah, you're right. You you, you busted a little hole in my theory right there. Yeah. I was thinking about high school and too light skin. Too. You were thinking about high school, high school musical. I was thinking about high school musical too. Exactly what I was thinking about. Is that not Corbin? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's Corbin Blue. What's, what's the song he? That's a gay song he. Do? I don't dance. <laughs> Wait, you think that song is gay? <laughs> <laughs> they were totally talking about messing around. As soon Notice. as he, as soon as he said gay, you knew what he, he was talking about. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. <laughs> 
Wait. <laughs> hey, bro, y'all a little sus right now. Are you, y'all, y'all dead ass right now? That's what they was talking about? Yes! You didn't know that? What do you think? I was too busy dancing with yeah. you playing baseball. <laughs> Here, let me, let me break it down uh, to you as simply as I can. Gay. I don't dance. They were talking about who was going to pitch and who was going to throw. <gasps> baseball! <laughs> I just got that too. I still, I still don't get it. Baseball, pitch and throw. When when you're gay, who's 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 doing who's, the best? Who's the bottom and who's, who's at the top? Yeah. There you go. Say bottom and top. What the fuck, pitch and throw? That that makes no sense. That's the same damn thing. Well, pitch. No, pitch, it's not. When pitching pitch, is the throwing. Yeah, when you pitch, you're pitching. When you're throwing. Uh, I, I said, I oh, 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 and and Eddie. <laughs> I don't like that. I don't like that. No, we might have to come up with another one. I ain't like that. So no. yeah. Teenage Mutant Ninja. So I'm gonna make a vlog. I'm gonna make a vlog. I like that. I'm gonna make a vlog about the uh, fitness journey, and then I'm gonna just try to do some like little acting. Acne says, because like, I, for the stuff that we had planned like, uh, last summer for the uh, Bang Babies uh, script. Mm-hmm. I, I, I took a whole bunch of uh, sample scripts out, and I just practiced them. You, oh, you said that title with a straight face. <laughs> I was just going to say that too. Babe Babies is not what you're thinking it is. Are you sure? <laughs> I can show y'all the script. I have no qualms about it. Hey, man, I'm just saying, I mean. Why does your voice drop <laughs> about seven octaves when you say I that? I know, right? Like, like, why do I feel so excited? I'm chilling right now. Because I'm chilling right now. I'm like, bro, hey, we really need our problem. You said Just throwing it out there again. Yeah. No babies were harmed. Well, make no babies are. He's giving a disclaimer for the babies. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No babies were harmed. What's your best white guy? Like, this is my randomest. Oh, I could be a good judge of character on the white guy voices. Go ahead. <laughs> oh, like, this is my white surfer. Like, huh, huh. Let me get a character. Like, huh, huh. Fuck, dude. <laughs> uh, that's like more Kyle. so, that's when more so like a hit. Or like. I can see that being like Bro, a, that's sight. That shit's totally radical. Like, no, that's no, when, you were, like a when you were saying when you're saying white guy voice, so like you're talking about like, like one of those Keith. like phone Ooh, guys like Hey, Keith. how can I help you today? How I'm so you sorry. <laughs> Hi, welcome to Wendy's. Can I take your order? <laughs> welcome to Cut Burger. How about a Cut Burger? Can I take your order? <laughs> that's boring. <laughs> that's, that's, <laughs> that's not what we were talking about. I don't I, I, I just I how wanted to be different. Through? All right, before I move on, does anybody have any topics they want to share? Speak now or forever. Hold your peace. I do have a question. Okay, since we were talking about fitness and stuff, what is y'all's opinion on female, like, fitness idols? What do you, uh, give me an example of fitness Like, female bodybuilders. They're all scary. I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> I love them. Like, I love them. like you know, like don't get me wrong. Like it's cool. Like go get your gains. Go do what you're doing. But I'm not trying to get in bed and then like you know like I'm getting rocked. You know what I mean? Like that shit's scary. I don't. I don't want you to break me in half. All right. That's not how this is supposed to work. Okay. Understandable. All right. Yeah. No. And then and then at the same time you're sitting over there. You're doing your your thing. You know. You're like yeah. Heck yeah. I'm manning it up right now. And then and girl, it up. Yeah, no, that's the best way I can put it. Like you're just doing your thing, you're doing guy things. And then your girl just walks up and she's like already like swole and like she basically can do the thing that you're doing with one fucking finger. And what did you just do? other hand tied behind her back, oh, you know? Oh I, I popped my shoulder. Okay, you went <laughs> that bitch popped, it like clicked. Like a chick more swole than you, are you not gonna be afraid or like So as far as as far as that's concerned, um if she built like that girl that everybody makes fun of on TikTok. <laughs> oh, yes, no, dude. I, I am dude. scared. She go she gonna be telling me, hey babe, I wanna I want you to cook. Oh yeah, yes, babe, that honey. You're a bitch. The biggest bitch, baby. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the biggest bitch. The biggest bitch. Oh, no, the biggest bitch. <laughs> Like, she running the relationship, 
and she tell me to jump, I'ma say, all right, babe, I don't know how the fuck we gonna do this, but we gonna do it together, right? No. I'm like, all right, all right, um, um. I'm like, you want me to jump back? What? What you want me to do? You want me to bend my knees? You want me to try to jump with my legs straight? What you want? Yo, I am mortally <laughs> terrified because if her back is the equivalent of my entire body muscle all together. Listen, honey, I love you. I really do, but we just two different people. Like Yo, her back Miles, is the same size hey, as you. Is Miles, that what you mean I'm by not two gonna different lie, people? Though, dude, I feel like with you, you the girl doesn't even need to be strong. I feel like you're just gonna sit there and like be like that anyway. Low key. Hey yeah. damn, yeah. he just said you gonna be a bitch regardless. <laughs> That's what he said. But I want to throw in my opinion on this before we okay, go wait, to that. Pause. No, 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 I'm sorry. Like, no, no, I want to hear what you got to say. Is it because of your toxic Im- masculinity? masculinity? Yeah. Yeah. I if your if oh, girl looks said, bigger yeah. than you, is it because yeah, you're uh, intimidating? Yeah, if, 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 she, if she built, mm, uh, no, thank you. I'm good. I'm great. Okay. And I'm like, I'm not, uh, answer your goddamn question. I'm not no fucking bitch in no fucking relationship, bitch. Hold up. We not going to do this. Wait, wait, wait. I had an opinion on it real quick. Okay, also, go ahead. Go ahead. Do you. One thing that I always try to do when I see The Rock on a movie, he The Rock is known for flexing his pace. The do 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 thing. Yeah. I always try to do it. I can't do it. I, I know can. that I can't do it. He but can kind of do it. I can See, that's All the girls thing. Can do that. I don't want really. Yeah, if you if you put your shoulders forward, like what the fuck? Yeah. All right, I'm doing it. So it's not yeah, just yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's not just about see that no. no. If I was to try to do it and I can't do it, and my girl turns around, she's like, "Look, babe, it's like this." She just start popping her titties, and I'm like. Wait, but now that I know that it's an all girl, it. I, mean, I mean, now that I know it's an all girl thing and not a so muscle you and thing, I gotta it makes go to no sense. Together. I got you. I'm telling you, know you I got you. Sorry, babe. So back to you being the bitch in your relationship. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I, I gotta confess, he's not a bitch in his relationship. Thank you, babe. Yeah. 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 I, I feel like y'all have been dating too shortly to make a, make a judgment. Two and a half years. Two. I take it back. Uh, <laughs> I take it back. Wait a minute. <laughs> Never mind. I don't know. That that sounds like a little cap come from Miles too. You held down two and a half years, bro. <laughs> Off and on. Yeah. I was gonna okay. say I knew about I was, it. I, was about to I say, know from like, the get go. I, I I'm, thinking, I'm thinking this held. Like I'm like. See, this goes back to the whole different experiences with Miles because he met him at a different time. The whole time I knew. So oh, let me let me break down y'all's time periods with me, Jaden. He knew me. He knew me when I I dated my very first yeah. girlfriend was a lesbian, and that's sad. That's so sad. Hey, bro. That is hey, so bro. sad. Me too. And G- Jaden, I didn't think you was gonna go that far. I didn't think you was gonna go that way. <laughs> that's so sad. I'm sorry. That's all you. And like he's seen all the girlfriends throughout my uh, entire. <laughs> from freshman year of high school to senior year of high school and I will honestly say they were all fives and under are we gonna talk about that first girlfriend cause that was just so fucking wild that whole thing let's, let's talk about it let's talk about it bro what you gotta say, say to speak your piece speak you your like, piece like girls who like she was a lesbian but then she ended up dating Kawan can I, can I ask something she dated Kawan yeah, right after you no right after right after Alicia after the she she was all whoa whoa wait wait go back go back not only was she I dated Alicia, Alicia but she was a hoe we're talking oh no we're not oh talking about Jamie. wait a minute plot twist she was a hoe too yeah <laughs> <laughs> no wait, no well, I did not date the Wildcat special let's let's get that straight I dated Alicia okay so we're talking about Alicia okay I'm talking about a different girl then okay. we're talking about the Wildcat special okay okay Wildcat special. Never mind then. You're not gonna get all my anymore. all my talk because I just brought up are all false. The Wildcat special. Wild it, special. Yes. All right. So I don't know if this is gonna sound bad coming from me or not, but did you make her a lesbian or was she a lesbian already? She was a lesbian. She was a lesbian, but she didn't know it. So then she dated you and then realized she was a lesbian. <laughs> <laughs> That's even worse. That Bro, is even she worse. She literally dated you and was like, "Damn." 
This nah, nigga is not work. Like I don't like it. I take it back. I don't like it. Nigga does not work for me at all. Yeah, you can have that. Hey, I, I'll, I'll defend my boy. She was already kind of already dressing like a boy. She she was it already really wearing. It might really depends. I'm not a lesbian, but I dress like a tomboy all the yeah, time. You see, but she was she was the one that was dressed around with the baggy pants and sagging and shit like that. She was sagging. Okay, so Miles, I have a question. If she dressed like that, then uh, we don't know why, what this fucking girl. Her. Her. It's okay. We accept you. <laughs> I just want you to be honest with Wait, yourself. Don't say that. I just moved in with him. <laughs> Miles, Look, she she literally was already making moves. It, okay. <laughs> she was literally already making moves and was like, "You what? already knew she was swinging she the king like, way." So like, I mean, hey Miles, like you trying to go out? And then like literally like it took her only like just a little bit of time, and she was like, "Did you know she what? think that you were also a lesbian?" But Pussy defending right my boy again, whenever okay. she did dress up look like a girl, she was a solid five, almost a five and a half. Almost a half. Yeah. Justify. Jaden, get your ass in the fucking camera. Oh, what's up, guys? I'm sorry, man. I'm telling you, I'm gonna get used to it. I'm, I'm. I can move over. I have a lot of room. My whole body is in the camera. You think so? It is. I don't. I do kind of. I do kind of look like. I'm not a. I'm not a big human. Just just I'm a. You might. You might move into. Shut up. You don't want to talk about big heads. No, don't touch me. The light. The light. The light. No, I think that'll make it worse. It might. Who knows? So let's everybody look. just go by. Who the fuck is that lock character? <laughs> 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 you haven't locked them yet. <laughs> oh my god! The jokes have stepped up and <laughs> not the locked character, man. That's crazy. That's for. Okay, different phases. Jaden, he knew me through that entire phase. And then I think after... Remember how I won Homecoming King? You were Homecoming King? You won King? Homecoming King? I didn't do shit for our high school. I hated I hated high school. I didn't go to a football game. I didn't go to a football game. I, go to a I, have, game. I have the pictures on my Facebook. I'll show y'all later. But um, yeah, I won Homecoming King with that Hispanic chick that I, I, I dated that everybody said was No, bad. that's right. Because then that's when... Yeah, man, and what's up with this? Because... The rumors started up that you was dating Kirsten. Did you said you didn't date? You Kirsten. realize we just throwing out people names here. Yeah, left the right. I, oh. I, I'll use the Isaac sound. <laughs> look, the, I'm, not, I'm not gonna try. I'm not gonna try. But because y'all not gonna, y'all not gonna <laughs> meet me. But oh he was God. dating this one girl, and this one girl, we thought she was feeling you. Were you feeling? Go her? ahead, just say her name. I'll bleep it up. Okay, uh, Kirsten. Okay. He done already said it. Yeah, I, did I, oh, yeah, I did already say it. <laughs> Back in two, three times. <laughs> this is how high he is. <laughs> but, uh, no, me and Kirsten, were, we were never dating. Uh, even though I thought she was extremely beautiful. She was tall. She had a... Oh, she had a... But if she... Gungus! Because Gungus wasn't in the word. She ain't if got she gonna it. watch this and be like, oh, so we weren't dating? We never dated. <gasps> oh, you, shit. You see, Is she gonna watch that. this and feel she, like that? I will send the clip to her and then like <laughs> confirm or deny for the next episode for the Patreon. <laughs> Find next, out if it was true or not. Next <laughs> time on Dragon Ball Z. Why is that your go-to? <laughs> Why because is that? that's such a bar. The best <laughs> thing to hear when you came home from school was drag it, drag it, drag it, drag it, Ball Z. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Next time on the Table Thoughts, did Miles have an affair with the lonely Kirsten? The world will make never know what Fuck, nigga, shit! <laughs> God damn it, I had one job! How and many... you didn't do it correctly at all. Yeah. It's okay. That's Maybe cool. next time, you'll try again next time. Just but but like, like no, we, I'm a visual learner. <laughs> well, I, I was I was actively <laughs> I was actively trying to shoot my shot. She said no. She like oh, I think of you like a brother. And I was like all right. Oh shit. Ooh. Yeah. And then so after that after the whole high school phase, I got into my first adult relationship, and that kind of changed my perspective about a lot of stuff. And then like I I ended up being a nigga and doing some dirt, and I cheated on her. And, um, and your first one? My first the adult. first one. That's crazy. I, I told you I was an ain't shit nigga. And then like after I, after that, I had, to, I had to learn about myself. I, I, <laughs> I, <laughs> Bro, I'm sorry. She's really coming for you right now. <laughs> because like. Okay. 
let, let me finish. Miles used to preach these stories to me, bro. Like, whenever we worked together before this job, like, he used to preach the hoism to me. Like, it was an every <laughs> shift thing. Nigelation 1624. I'm telling you, I know <laughs> all these female names. I know all the stories. I know the outcome, how it started, how he felt, how she felt. I know it all. Anybody who has his Snapchat knows the, the, knows all them stories. No. <laughs> them, them 30, 40 plus rents that you guys have. <laughs> okay, facts. Facts. Because <laughs> he be treating it like a lifetime episode. He be in that bitch preaching. Sitting there tapping for ten damn minutes. <laughs> Your finger don't catch a cramp. <laughs> right. Not so much of my rants. My rants be fired. Not too much. But yeah, I got in my first adult relationship. Cheated on her. Did not feel the best about it. Um, I mean, you didn't. And then, like after after that, uh, I I had to learn what like what what being a man really was after a lot, a lot of fucking bodies were added. And then I got into my second real adult relationship, and then grew, learned from that, evolved, and now we're here. You said a lot of bodies. Can we? Yeah. Can Can we pause for a minute and just talk about how you were like, yeah, I got a lot of bodies, and it was just like, Miles, dude, have you seen the list? Miles, yeah, yeah no, no, have I've you seen, not seen his list? No, Miles? I've seen the list. I've seen the list. It's just like, nigga, are you a graveyard? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> not so much. We're not about to sit here and fucking play me. Okay. I don't know, Miles. I've I've thought that too. I wonder if you if you pay those Snapchat premium girls to come I, oh. over. Okay, Miles. To clarify that, because you better watch I, what you say, because she just gave you the death stare, and I'm on her side. I'm gonna just say that now. <laughs> she, the way she just looked at you, you better run. Let me clarify. And I'm on her because side because I've I've gotten asked this question very much, and uh, a friend, not a friend, that a friend that I introduced you to. Uh, she she tried to come with me with that bullshit. And I don't accept it. So this is a, this is a, um, also another Patreon topic we'll talk about. But to grease over it, no, I don't pay for girls' Snapchat premiums. Uh, mainly because of my philosophy towards that, and my philosophy. Oh, we've talked about this before. Yeah, yeah. This. my philosophy on it, it, just to touch on it briefly, is that I don't think you should be selling your body. Your body is beautiful. Your body should be only shown to like your significant other. Uh, for you to be shown it out, like it makes you to me, it makes you less appealing. Like, for example, there's this girl. We'll talk about her on the Patreon, but like, there's this girl that I have on my Snapchat. And she's very, she's very good looking. Uh, but and she said she claims that she's in a relationship, but she always posts half naked pictures of her on her Snapchat and all other social medias and to me that's unattractive and that's a man Can I intervene for just a second. Go ahead. You said your body should be only shown I was thinking the same other. thing. You've had about seventeen thousand significant others. So You just said for everybody's good everybody that's listening is just gonna be like you just Here's said you mine. have a lot of bodies. Here's yours. Big difference. Wait so wait. I'm confused. With your you. list. Yeah. Oh, my my list? Here's mine. Here's yours. Here's mine. <laughs> listen. Listen. I, I, if I I'm, ain't finished, it didn't count. So I'm in right. my sexual prime right now. It's probably a, the best that this is going to get. When I say significant other, to me, that basically means, like, okay, obviously, the thought has evolved. I, I, will, I will agree with that. It has evolved within... The thought has evolved. Shut the Patreon. Fuck. The thought has evolved. The thought has evolved. Oh, that's a good title. Yes. I like that one. Well, the, the, the thought has evolved in, in the sense of, like, if you asked me about this, mm, six, not even six, three months ago, I would have gave you a totally different answer. Yeah, that's very true. Uh, and I don't know. I, just, I feel like I have a completely different opinion. I feel like if you love your body and you are that confident with yourself, then why not? I, I, I agree. I would agree with that. Like, like if you're showing, like, body goals, like, fitness goals, like how you do on your Snapchat, that is totally fucking awesome. <coughs> but if you're posting pictures of you in a bikini or in, like, uh, thongs... Okay, so what about summertime when bitches are in bikinis well, everywhere? Okay, What's okay, the difference then? Just real quick. I don't know. I'm not in it at all. But when you do, uh, like, OnlyFans or, like, you're just posting for yourself because you're yeah. that confident for yourself, it's totally different. When you do that OnlyFans, is to actually like sell your whole body 
your lashes, selling your face, you're just selling the whole body. But and that's also very posting for and yourself because you're that confident. You're like, yeah, bitch, look at me. I'm like this hot moron. Like, I am hot as fuck. But when you're, I don't know, it's just two different No, I, I completely agree with you. I agree that OnlyFans can be very, like, controversial in that topic. Like, okay, I love myself enough to, like, would you pay to see this? Like, you know what I mean? I can yeah. see how that can be degrading in a certain way. But at the same time, like, some people are just not people persons. Some people cannot go out and get a job because they cannot handle the emotional stability that it takes to be a people person. You know what I mean? I'm going to say Ooh, something. Fuck yeah. I also want to say something on that. Okay, go ahead. Do you? I'm going to the getting on OnlyFans to post pictures that are about just body goals and all that. I think that would be stupid because... I've had people you, ask me about that. Because if you're confident enough to show your body to where you want to get paid for it, shouldn't you show that on, like, Instagram where publishers yes. and modeling agencies can see it? You know, yeah, like, you want to get paid for that. You want to yeah, publish that yourself. For me, personally, I'm not going to want to pay to see something that I can see on Instagram. If I'm paying for it, I want to And that's see, another big thing. Because yeah, people pay for Pornhub Premium. Uh, Which is why a lot of a lot of models they like already have Instagram pages or Twitter pages and then like you know they have the links and stuff they literally yeah but coming from somebody who has modeled like there is so much that goes into social media and so many regulations and stipulations that fall behind that that it makes it not enjoyable at all so it's like why would I go walk a runway where I'm in shoes that are too small for me. But I'm being forced to do it, and I can't post these pictures on my social media because they're not my pictures. Yeah, but I can go true. on this website and I can post them, and I can make money for it, and still feel as beautiful as I did on that runway. You know what I mean? Like there's yeah. there's always Ooh. two sides to that. So that's it why I feel like you hit it. That, yeah, that, that's, that's what true. I'm saying. Like I, that's why I feel like OnlyFans can be very controversial because some people can look at it as very degrading, and I can definitely see that point of view. I can definitely see how like it makes you seem like you're just selling your body for whatever but there are some people who literally depend on that for their living all right so the way that i think about only fans i feel like only fans are for the people that don't know how to go out there and actually get a or job or the people who don't and want like, to yeah that don't want yes. to and they just want to do that easy money like yeah i can sell my body and still pay for everything that Shoot, I, I can go on everything. twitter and put hashtag yeah. foot and i can make 50 dollars yeah the exactly so i mean yeah i feel like you know um uh, I mean? Yeah, it's, it's just a very, there's a negative stigma behind it, and yeah, I don't agree, I agree with I don't agree with that because there's so many things that people just claim as negative or com- like like they delegate that in a negative way, and I just I don't agree with that. Yeah, that's very true. Like the only fans are, I feel like because I like, I am pro do what you want to do. If you want to start yeah. an OnlyFans, if you want to go out there, if you want to be a hoe, if you want to do whatever you want to do, have fun. I might not do it, but I'll support you in what yeah, you want to do because that makes you happy. True. And if going on OnlyFans and selling yourself and that yeah that's, that's the only you way happy. that you can actually like get your, your rent in and get all your other exactly. payments and then fuck yeah go ahead like, exactly and i'll support you i'll promote yeah. you like you do you and i hope you make bad but cut me a check but anyway <laughs> um if i'm a promoter you gonna cut me a check we gonna fuck get yeah. this together if i if my foot is in there somewhere um hello people <laughs> will pay butt. for that i got cute feet bitch i do yeah <laughs> We got to do Me and her had a whole discussion. Oh, no, no. I have a whole different... I have a whole other question following that. Oh, All right, what's up? Shoot your shot. All right. So, now, with everybody viewing it in that way, now, let's say... Let's say... Because this, this is how the world is taking over nowadays. That right. it's like, you know, that we're seeing it pro. So, now, let's say we're at the point we got kids. Your daughter, let's say she she 15, Right. And she she say she want to go she want this new kind she want this the, what, what's what's the popular purse that everybody I don't know Why so say she, Michael Kors it's Kors. something oh. expensive that you're like I don't no, know a coach who, bag it's just coach something bag. expensive where you're like I don't got the money for it right now you are gonna have to wait and she's like. Why wait? I Why can just go upstairs and make an OnlyFans and start making my own money. That's what I did. Well, you. that's no. Did you <laughs> okay, that's, that's different. Just, get the fuck out of my that's that's right. So different. that's completely that's different. Going, so when you're like uh, not in old enough or like you don't know how to make your own money, that's the only way to do it because of social media. And social media told you that like, and this is the way that you like, do it. This is the way that you make money. This is how you and are supposed to be. 
I back to what you were saying, like if you're a parent and you're doing OnlyFans and all of that and you have a child that's old enough to understand what it is and understand like the reality of it, it doesn't matter if you're honest with your child or if you try to hide that, they're gonna find out eventually. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because somebody is gonna say it. They're yeah. gonna see it on TikTok, they're gonna see it on Instagram. So, it's social so media regardless. is everywhere. Like I, I hope I pray to the great gods above that Cardi B's daughter understands and listens to the song WAP. And I very okay. for the very Okay, first but at the same time Cardi B does try to hide the song from her. Cardi B doesn't let her kids Yeah, listen like to her she music. doesn't let her actually And I respect listen that to because it. she's yeah. doing what she does professionally. She's doing yeah. what she loves in a way that she loves to do it in a way and that makes her happy. And she's trying to be a parent at the same but time. But she's being a parent. Yeah. And that's another big thing. If your daughter feels like it's okay at 15 to go upstairs and do that and know the reality of it and know that there are grown ass men that will sit and look at a 15 year old, which is completely illegal, then you have failed as a parent. Yeah, okay. but you also gotta understand that there's the other part, but like they are trying to be famous, they're trying to be the same as their parent. So why not do this, the same that their parents have done then? But that's where explaining the reality of it comes into play. See, that's that, true. for me, I, because I fancy myself as an artist and like, I like recording music, poetry, writing, right. all that shit. But I've always had the thought that I would never create something that I, I wouldn't want my kids to relish in, to be proud of. I disagree. Okay. Sorry, I, I know I'm your girlfriend and everything I'm supposed to go ahead, do. Go ahead, go ahead. You know how they like fast and um, I don't even like her, but uh, Adriana Grande, she's yeah. like, I'm never gonna twerk, I'm never gonna sing about like sex or anything like that, and that's exactly what 35. she's doing. That's exactly how she's her getting her money song. because yeah, like you gotta evolve, evolve with the way that people Time, are seeing rolling. everything. Yeah, and like, it, like I'm, that, but it's not like, necessarily how it is, then it it's, is. It's evolving as a person because if you ask. 14, 15 year old Zoe, what she thinks about drugs. Oh my god, they're terrible. I will never do it. Fast forward two years later, I'm a drug addict and I'm going into rehab. At, yes. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it's like, it, it's really just who you are as a person because yeah. at the end of the day, you really will not know who you are until the time comes where you're like, oh, I don't want to do that no more. You can mm-hmm. go out and party every single night of the week. Yeah, one, like, day, one day you're going to wake up and be like, you know what? I, I think it's time to sit my ass down. My, my 80 year old body can't go out and do that no more. You know yeah. what I mean? So it's really just, it's not necessarily evolving with the time and with social media because. It's evolving with yourself. Like it's learning growing yourself. as a person. It's, yeah. it's learning who you are. And what you said about the whole, like, you wouldn't want to make something that your kids wouldn't be proud of, I completely disagree. I completely disagree with that because you can't. You gotta make a lot of things. Uh, just because you're, make, just the because that's your child doesn't mean they're gonna be proud of you. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm saying something that they could be proud of. But then again, it's you. You, you can't delegate what things. your child is proud of. Yeah, my, you, you don't my know mother, what they're thinking about at that time. Like if they're 15, they're like, oh, this is not okay, but you're doing that, then it's like a total different thing. <clears> like you think it's okay just because of your age. And because of their age, is the age gap. Like whenever that. your parents try to say, oh no, that person or this is not good for you and you'll understand when you're older and then you get older yeah. and you look back at it and you're like, oh my God, she was completely right. Mm-hmm. You see, I don't think he meant it in that way though. I think he oh. meant to say like, he he never wants to make something that he doesn't want his kids to not see. You know, like, you know, like if he was a porn star, you know, he doesn't want his kids to see his porn videos. I think he's okay. saying that he didn't want, he wants to make, he never wants to make anything that He's embarrassed where his kid to see. Okay, okay, see, if you put it that way, then you... My know, nigga! Babe, I, you I got you, because you know I'm also an entertainer, so I, I get it agree. too. I still don't agree. I still don't agree with that. I'm like, really? Why? I still don't. Because at the end of the day, like, you said that you're, like, speaking of porn, like, let's say I did porn, I had a son or a daughter, and my son is getting screenshots of his mother on Pornhub. Yes, that can be embarrassing, but what about the kids who get embarrassed because their mom drops them off at school in the morning? What are they going to do? Stop dropping them off at school in the morning? You know what I mean? Yeah. So regardless, your kid is going to be embarrassed of certain things, whether it's the way that you dress, the way that you speak, the way that you act. So it's like... I feel like that would be different because if you're if you're embarrassed because of your mom doing something and then your mom making something, it's totally different. I feel like if the kid is embarrassed because of your mom doing something, then yeah, I understand. Like, she, like let's say the porn hub. Yeah, I understand. She's, so, she's showing everything to everyone. And she's okay with that because that's the way that she put uh, food on the table. Right. But if your mom is, like you said, dropping them off and everything, then that's a 
that's just stupid. Like, why would you get embarrassed because your mom is struck you off? But who gets to determine what's stupid it, to be embarrassed about or not? Them. They who, gets to, who gets to determine what is okay, what is okay to be proud of, and what is not okay to be proud then of? Then who, who would drop them off? That's to. the thing. Huh? Who would drop them off? The boss? Ooh. Wait, like, I'm totally yeah. confused where this conversation is going. Oh, sorry. No, <laughs> we're, so we're, we're, yeah, we're on the same page. I, I, I'm, I'm over here, too. Okay, okay, yeah. yeah. So, basically, yeah. what we're saying is, like, how, like, the kid is being embarrassed okay. by the mom doing Pornhub. Okay, that's something that's very valid oh, to be saying, embarrassed yeah. about. You're saying how... Who gets to determine what is okay or what is stupid? Because she said it would be stupid to be embarrassed about your mom just dropping you off at school in the morning. Right. Who gets Which to determine what... Sense. Like it, the, it is, like I can the see. age. It's yeah. the age. It's, all it's about the maturity the age. as well. Yeah. Well, well, okay, going back to my original point, to expand off what he said, to, to explain my point, what I'm saying is, like, from my point of view, not theirs. Because, like, I think the... Okay. I make music, mm-hmm. loosely. Mm-hmm. And I would never want to make a song that depicts me in a negative light. Because... That song is going to hold up towards time. Uh, obviously, my my that makes sense. my kids my kids will listen like, damn, this is this is what dad was thinking when he was like twenty years ago, whatever. Right. So I don't want them to think like, yo, like damn. Well, obviously, with age and with uh, with wisdom comes with maturity, knowledge. Yeah. yeah, it comes with it comes knowledge, and I don't want them to think like, damn, dad was really on some regular stuff. But then, and then again, then again, it could be negative or positive in that sense because. But think about it. If you're doing something that you love and you're doing something that you are very proud of, I wrote a poem when I was thirty days out of rehab called "Confessions of an Addict," and I published that. And it was very raw. It was very, like, deep and emotional. And it depicts me in the most negative way possible. It makes me seem like the most disgusting person on human... On, like, the most disgusting per- person ever on, in the history of Earth. But if my child ever stumbled... It's on the it's on the internet. So if somebody Googled it, hello, everybody knows. You know what I mean? So it's like... I can completely understand where you're coming from. Like, you wouldn't want to post something that depicts you in a negative way because at, at some point, your child will find it. It doesn't matter. At some point, they will find it. But at the end of the day, if I do something that I am proud of and I, I'm very big on owning who I am as a person because you have to understand another thing that people don't recognize is you know what you're doing. Right. Yeah, that's right. You know exactly what you're doing. So if I wrote that poem knowing I was going to post it, I wrote that poem with pure intent to get my emotions out, to put it out there, and for people to see me who I really am as a person. So if you go out and do something or make something, you know what you're doing. I, you know what I mean? I feel like that's totally different because you can explain to a child, like, this is what was happening at the time. Like, this is why I wrote it. This is why I did the things that I did. But then, but you comes, can say the same thing about Pornhub. Yeah, but it, it the same thing comes. It all comes with maturity. Like, I need you to un, like you need the child to understand like how you let's say like, put food in the on the table. If you can't do it the normal the normal way that people actually do it, like get a job and everything, then that makes sense. Like, yeah. if you don't know how to like like say a lot of people like socially anxiety and like have all of that and they can't yeah. go and get an actual job and that's the way they can do it and make fuck make hella hell of money just for putting one video out there then it makes sense like I, I can completely it's all agree come with you. maturity okay. based on how but the way that we're relating this a big, a big thing that we related it to was like Pornhub mm-hmm. if you're on Pornhub most of the time you're going to be very well known on Pornhub because you're very well known you know what I mean <laughs> Not everybody goes that route. Just because I put one thing out there, you don't see people recognizing me whenever I walk down the street. Yeah. So that's another thing you have to take into consideration. How well are you known? All right. Well, it also depends on... Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry, sorry. <laughs> You're fine. Okay, so other than y'all getting in y'all fucking bag today, <laughs> um, you want to do it? Do what? The promotion. No, I don't. <laughs> I don't. All right, guys. Not- Listen, let me tell you about a place. The kingdom. Tell me about it. <laughs> a place where there's no judgment. 
No scrutiny. And we completely talk free of the lip. All the wild shit that we were stopping earlier for about that's on a Patreon. Well, you can listen to it. For just $5 a month, you get access to over five hours of exclusive content to count up to now. And not only that, but you get to interact with us. For just five dollars? Yes. Five dollars. Five dollars. See, that's and that's a blessing. So that money, so, so that money for the money that you be busted it open on OnlyFans for, you can send that to us. And we will award you. Pay your bills so you can pay ours. Pay your bills. So for a different for a different crowd that's listening to us. I hope I attract this crowd. I want to interact with this crowd. <laughs> that's half a gram. Five dollars. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, hey, come on, man. We, See, we, come on, you splitting we, five dollars with four people. Man, you can buy an ounce every other Tuesday. You can afford five dollars. He's pulling his leg. Yo! <laughs> Yo! Damn, <laughs> baby, bro. Bro, he's too high for this. Dude, I am. Like, no! All right, because, like, they were having their own conversation. No! No, but no, they were, having their own, they were having their own conversation and everything, and so, like, I was, like, listening, but, like, my eyes were closed the entire time, but I promise you I was listening. Wait, but I wonder how far, how, how much... How long, long were your, how long were your eyes closed? About seven, eight minutes. Oh what? My God. <laughs> So you tell me for the past eight minutes why they would just go we back. We gonna go back and look at his head just gonna be I am being chilling, bro. Just I mean, yeah, yeah, I know yeah. your neck hurt. I know <laughs> your neck hurt. So not, bro, not until I get five, the for five dollars a month, guys, y'all get access to all this exclusive content. You get and me. And me. And me. Oh, but we know after, <laughs> after, uh, after this episode, not okay. uh, you get more of us. Uh, uh, on, that's, back, that's, that's, I've had enough of you. <laughs> you can't. That you, you can't can't say, talk. Yeah, <laughs> no, no, you cannot sit there with your eyes closed for eight minutes and be like, "Okay, we've had enough of y'all." Like you were asleep. Okay, you don't get to. It was talk. a very interesting conversation, guys. So with this yourself. Is, this oh, is yeah. this is what we're going to do. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and drop drop the a clip. We're going to drop a clip, guys, of the Patreon, the latest Patreon. Good luck. So, I think we should sign out. This was a very good podcast with Brazy. Y'all got you. So, ladies got in their bag. I'm going to edit so all cut me my check. <laughs> <laughs> I just Amen. want to say that. <laughs> Pay me for my knowledge. Thank you. So, I hope you enjoyed the clip of the Patreon. I'm your host, Poetic Justice. To my left, I got... Zoe. To my right... Zoe. That's Sarah Toby. And we out this bitch. <laughs> hey, question it. Do y'all, do y'all give grade 10 dick on the first night? No. No. Not anymore. I learned my lesson. I don't now. give grade 10 dick at all. <laughs> See? Like, oh. I'm sorry. What? Do you know the obsession that comes with grade 10 dick? <laughs> You know, he, he proves a point. No, I have made to me with this Oh, bro, that creates, that creates a toxic ass girlfriend. Bitch is literally, no, like, I've, I've, been, I've been in the situation where, like, like, I'll fuck a bitch. And then, like, you know, like, I'll, I'll be honest. Like, I would have caught a little feelings and been like, hey, yo, so you trying to make this work? And they'd be like, no, I'm good. And, like, the moment I'm in a solid relationship, they'll come back to yeah. me a couple of weeks yeah. later and be like, hey, so I'm single now and I kind of, I kind of really want to, no, you missed that opportunity. You okay. missed that. You're not going to fall in love with me late. Like, what are you talking about? I feel like a lot of girls do that just because they don't want to give you the power to know that you had an amazing dick. So, I feel like if you are into, like, oh, it all depends on how the girl is. Like, if you gave big ass, like, good ass dick, like, oh, she's going to be like, all right, all right. <laughs> Yeah, I'll, I'll give it to you, but like, uh, it all depends on how what you do it. What you have before Cedric? I'm laughing because, like, I felt like when she did the, uh, I feel like she took a pause and was thinking about you from earlier. <laughs> <laughs> God damn. <laughs> she was like, that great A, amazing ass dick, like that, uh, and then, I was like, and, then, and then I saw her pause and then, like, like, look around the room and I'm like, oh, God, Miles. <laughs>